Hunter x Hunter episode 141. Lurio for president or chairman or whatever. We all know what we're skipping to. Which part. I like how they're just pressing for everyone to watch Jin get knocked out. I think that it's not the right time to wake up Gon. Don't shatter his dreams. Also, I didn't say so last time, but Lurio is then so simple but so cool. And it hasn't even been expanded upon yet. Magician X and X Butler. Oh yes, give me the politics. Did we reach minimum participation? We did. Nice. Right. Leorio jumped to number three. Hell yeah. Am I making this up or did I joke at one point that Leorio would end up becoming a political leader? I feel like I did, but I could totally be making that up. It's also crazy that Jing is so hated that getting punched in the face makes someone else a third place political candidate. Unless something major changes, all signs still point to Pariston. Something about him I really trust. Boring! Boo! <laughs> yeah! He punched him in the face that one time, remember that? He's still studying? Good god. Crime Hunter, that's a, that sounds noble. Interesting. I don't know this guy. Is he even real? Did Jing make him? Is he Gon's mom? Why would you want to reform the Hunter exam? It's perfect the way it is. Yeah! I vote for Moral. Ooh, Moral or Leorio? I think Moral. Wait, what? Wow, he made that a mission, like a life's calling. No more Chimera Ants on Moral's watch. I mean, Moral's such a softy though. In classic Moral fashion, I can imagine his goal for this being twofold. One, to stop alien threats, and two, to befriend aliens. Oh man, this is a, this is a tough vote. I don't know, yeah. Careful. Odd tagline, but okay. Nope, pass. That reminds me of like, in my high school, my freshman year, whoever it was that won student council president or whatever it was, just got up on stage in a monkey suit and he won. Political tactics, how much of it is just attention? It's like Bushidor Ambitious? I never heard of him. But Rat McGee, that's a familiar face. That's someone I can trust. I don't know, I don't know any of these people or what they do or what they stand for or what they want even though they told me. All I know is I'm rooting for Bisky, Leorio, or Moral. Because I know them. I'm definitely not running for Cuticle or whatever her name was. He's still in it, huh? I love how this, this image is literally like him giving someone the boot. Like he's just gonna step on you. He's gonna step on you in all of your dreams, just like he did to his son. Show this video to Gon's corpse. Standing ovation. He's like beyond unpopular. He's the opposite of whatever popular is. You can't serve two masters. But will be surprised that Clue is taking so long to answer the phone for the brother he loves so much. Yeah, who can imagine why why would anyone be wary of Aluka's power? A lot of pandas in this arc. Canary's ride or die, apparently. Koto very subtle. What is Illumi vying for control? By using Aluka's power, but also to help Aluka. What does Illumi want? Aluka 
I can understand that, logistically. She's basically a ticking time bomb that will annihilate your whole family. Or maybe for Lumi's sake, more importantly, you. I wouldn't be comfortable with this either. I wouldn't even be comfortable sitting in this car right now. But I think I'd actually be less comfortable not in the car. Because I can't see what's going on. You're just totally leaving everything, your fate, your family's fate, in someone else's hands who hasn't revealed what he's going to do or the tricks he has up his sleeve. Just in general, there's something so much more anxiety inducing about watching someone else do something risky. Especially if the fallout concerns you. Random example, but the way I've always thought about this is like watching someone stand on a ledge is the most nerve-wracking thing. You standing on a ledge yourself can be nerve-wracking, but it's not as nerve-wracking as watching someone you care about standing on a ledge because you can't feel their fine motor skills. Like you can feel your own. That's like this, but like with everything, with the most dangerous weapon. I think the villain of this family struggle has emerged. It's gonna be Illumi and Hisoka against everyone else. Just kidding. That's a joke. I mean, there's a lot of people he could target that aren't family, assuming he's even sincere. Oh, that's who. I don't think of you as family either. I got Brother Gone, and I was gonna say Father Leorio, but that does not work at all. I was also gonna say Mother Kurapika, but really it's Brother Gone, Brother Leorio, Brother Kurapika, Mother Bisky, Daddy Moral, and maybe Uncle Ahsoka. Or Uncle Knuckle, that has a ring to it. Okay. Is this Illumi's definition of don't kill family? It's not killing them if they blew up in a truck accident, I guess. I'm gonna shoot a gun in your direction, and if you get hit, it's your own fault. Everyone died except for Kalua. <laughs> At a moment like this, you all suck. Where is Subone and all this? Just like running along? Okay, that doesn't look great. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I could see Hisoka betraying Illumi at some point, too. Sounds easy enough. Okay. Hisoka somewhat bored. Ima. Can you? I wonder. Just kidding. Interesting that he still feels that way. What happened with the Krolo pursuit, I wonder? Kalua never saw Demon Slayer and doesn't know he could just put her in a box. Might make his life a lot easier. He's about to do Pikachu mode. It's a little bit bad for Goto, actually. You're all in a lot of danger from within the family. He's got a little bird. If I'm Kalua, I, I just want to get as far away from all these people as possible. I don't need you. I don't like you. I don't trust my family. Canary, you're cool. Goto, you're okay. Although you can be kind of annoying sometimes. I don't know the rest of you. I don't want my father's eyes here. I don't want Lumi's eyes here. I don't want anyone's eyes here. I don't need you. I'm quick attacking out of here. Oh, that's her. How did you know? Was she there for the Chimera Anarch? Is she this fast? She looks like she's just strolling. What do you want? Don't ask. Oh, okay. Does this count as a request? Fishing for compliments. Nah, we're kind of like, just like this. You're just kind of... An object of fixation right now. No, no, no. We all get tortured. Yeah, 
悲しいか If it were anyone else. <laughs> Now give me your brain. Oh no, they don't know about his properties of rubber and gum. Something's stuck to him, isn't it? Don't touch anything. It's two magicians. He caught them. Of rubber and gum. <laughs> There it is! We did it, everyone! We got the rubber and gum. You're killing me. Thanks, narrator. <laughs> Always coming in clutch with explanations. <laughs> Wouldn't have guessed. This show continues to be so weird with its character choice. Speaking of equivalent exchange, we gained Liorio and then lost Gon. <laughs> like, the only constant has been Kalua, right? I mean, people talk about him being the actual main character and standout. I mean, I think he just is the main character at this point. He's got to have the most episodes, right? One thing I really like about Kalua's journey is I don't even think he's aware of this yet, but he was so focused on this. Friendship he got from Gon, which I mean, I think even at the time, or multiple times, I said that the love that Kalua is experiencing from Gon is actually the love in himself, and that has really borne fruit. He's spread it to so many other people. He's been that for Ikago, he's now is that and the only person for Aluka. I feel like at some point he's even gonna learn to love something. The moment of him comforting Aluka, who's asking if everyone would be better off without her, was heartbreaking. Probably hitting really hard for Kalua as well, who struggled with feelings of worthiness. He's just so much better than everyone. He's so much better than his family. I mean, obviously better than Il Illumi and Miluki. And he's doing all this, risking everything for Gon. Because Gon is his friend, and that's all that needs to be said. Despite plenty of potentially friendship ending slights, near-death experiences, just all in for Gon. And his sister in the meantime. And finally, I can imagine Kalua killing Illumi based on that conversation they had about family, specifically who is and isn't.